Hey, welcome back to Northern Ants. This is Mark. We're going to do Star Trek Legacy. We're going to play the campaign today. Reggie, I don't have a lot of time. I've got to get back aboard Enterprise. Relax for a minute, John. I do have orders for you, but I want to show you something before you ship out. This had better not involve Orion's slave girls. <laughs> don't worry. I read your mission report on that. No Orions, that much I can promise. They've done some great work on her, Reggie. I hear they even managed to replace the grapplers with those new tractor beams. We've made a lot of progress in the past years here, John, due in no small part to what you've accomplished out here. We've launched five Daedalus-class ships in the last two years alone. There actually is a fleet forming out there. It's not just a dream anymore. Starfleet is becoming a reality. Pretty soon you won't need my little ship anymore. Not true. In fact, I need you for a delicate assignment. Delicate? The Vulcans have requested this mission. Vulcans? Come on, Reggie, we both know how these things turn out. Now, before you get in an uproar, I have good reason to send you. You've got more experience dealing with Vulcans than any other ship commander. You also have more combat time. All right, this sounds bad. Combat experience? It's a precaution. They've requested help from Starfleet to track down one of their scientists, who's apparently gone missing. With them as a major ally, we really must assist. The Vulcans have ships. Why do they need ours? Oh, come on, John. It's dangerous out there. We're more capable of dealing with any trouble that might come up. Starfleet can get off on the right foot if we can handle this for the Vulcans. Orders are orders. I'll do my part. Just make sure my helmsman gets all the information we need to begin this search. I don't want to get blindsided by lack of information from them, as usual. I've already sent Mayweather everything you'll need. I hope we don't regret this. Missions involving Vulcans usually mean one thing. Trouble. This is the last known position of the Vulcan science ship. We're not getting anything on initial scans, but we should take a more detailed look through the system. Let's start by getting a close-range scan of that nearby planet. Check for any signs of wreckage. Okay, scan nearby planet for signals from wrecked ship. Our objectives. Fire. The Vulcan High Command has requested aid in a search for one of their missing scientists. A distress signal was detected originating from this system, but was cut off before the location could be pinpointed. Enterprise on station. Okay, let's see. Move the mouse wheel, look around. Click enter, key to lock. Okay, your current objective. Use the center mouse wheel to tell you speed up. F key sets a heading. Order acknowledged. speed so we can get there quicker. Need to be within 3,000 meters of object to scan it. It's a fairly old game, but the models are really good looking. You are now close enough to scan the planet. Press spacebar 
or backspace to trigger off your engines. Crosshair Planet, hold the F key and use the mouse to scan. Initiate scan. No signs of wreckage on the surface. We'll do a standard sweep of the system, starting with that ring of asteroids surrounding the ice planet nearest our position. Once within range, we'll scan for debris. The ship could be among the asteroids or might have been destroyed by them. It's entirely possible if they lost power and were in distress. Okay, your objective is now changed. You are called up and objective screen by hitting the escape button. So you can get to the objectives this way. Search asteroid field nearby ice planet. Okay. You press the tab button to call up a map. Okay, Let's see it's um your objective is toward Oh shoot, it went off before I got a chance to finish reading it. From the overlay map, you can issue destinations to your ship by click left clicking on the destination. So, this, and then we can go over here. Course laid in. And left click. Uh, you were right. Initiate warp now. That'll get us to the planet a lot quicker. Be with it. Looks like we flushed some game out of the rocks. Be prepared. These Romulans are nasty business. Opening a channel. Romulan vessels. We are engaged in search and rescue operations. Please state the nature of your presence here. <laughs> well, that seems clear enough. Yeah. Take evasive action and prepare to engage. We're going to have to fight our way out of this. Okay, you can target by hitting the F key. Hold down the space bar, and it'll allow you to move your mouse, highlight the enemies, use it to scroll nearest enemy. Okay. okay, target your enemy will turn the battle camera, which will keep the camera focused on the target manually adjust the camera and folk turn it off this off but you turn it back on pressing the space key okay now that you have t a target the red or white target uh, will appear when you are in range of firing fire position press the control left control when you see the white focus phasers alt press press right to an alt or alt so you can do either control or alt to do other than the right and left click but I left and right click is a lot easier phasers also Damage during long battles lose strength over distance. Okay. okay, your ship can turn and move sharply at low speeds while the Plus and minus keys and the mouse wheel adjust your ship speed. There is no escape for you. Against us, you would 
fight your doom. Target shields are down. Unless their shield generators damage, the shears will regenerate. Come back online soon. Your torpedoes must be effective now. Okay, your ship. Your ship's torpedoes or phasers. Yep, smart part. Yeah. <laughs> are located in the front and rear of the ship. Red triangle indicates the strength. Of the torpedo lock. Okay. Target shields down. There is no escape for you. Remaining vessels are disengaging. What in blazes were they doing here? Romulans are in the exact same place we happen to be looking for a missing Vulcan ship? Seems par for the course. They might have destroyed the Vulcan vessel. But until we either find the ship or its debris, we won't know for certain. Continue the search deeper into the system. We're picking up some strange readings from that nebula. Could be high band emissions occurring naturally, but we should check it out just to be safe. Okay, it's a lot easier doing the... Doing it this way than trying to find... Course set, Captain. Yeah, warp is definitely nice. <laughs> This is a protostellar nebula containing high level of particle flux. We won't be able to stay inside it indefinitely. Let's keep this search brief. Wait. Starfleet transponder. We're picking up a beacon. There must be another Starfleet ship in the area. Proceed inside. Head directly for the beacon signal. Okay, you have just entered the nebula. Some nebulas can have adverse effects on your ship's systems and can be extremely dangerous. Enterprise, are we glad to see you? Rick, is that you? It is. I diverted course to this system to respond to a general distress call and was ambushed by Romulan ships. They outnumbered us, and I was forced to take refuge here when my warp engines were damaged. Why didn't you contact Starfleet? We couldn't get a message out. Scans and subspace signals seemed to be hampered by the magnetic fields here. We barely made it to the safety of the nebula before its ion interference disabled our impulse drive. We've got the engines repaired. But we can't re-engage the core matrix until we've cleared the interference within the nebula. It seems to dampen our efforts to reinitiate the power flow to our engines. Stand by. We'll tow you out so you can get your engines back online. Make it fast, Jonathan. Our hull plating is already corroded to dangerous levels. Okay, you need to use your tractor beam to tow this outside the nebula. To do this, highlight the Kornev and hold down the F key until the radius men menu appears and use the mouse to tractor beam to safety. Engaging tractor beam. Excellent. That's done the trick. Our engine course is back online. Great news, Rick. 
Our Romulan friends have returned. You have to admire their sense of timing. Now let's see if we can't give a little of what we've been taking. Congratulations, you have the beginning of a fleet. Cool. Okay, press the five key from... Press the five key forms a group of all ships. Also hold the shift key. Plus the number one through four, four adds and removes ships from the group. With the group selected, you can issue move attack commands all members at once. You are clearly outmatched. Hit the enemy engine. Enemy shields disabled. Cap. Romulan target destroyed. Enterprise on station. Demand your destruction. Enterprise on the Romulan attack, combined with the corrosive effects of the nebulous particle flux, have dealt a good deal of damage to our systems. Let's hold position here until my engineering teams have effected repairs. I'd advise your engineers to do the same, just in case there are any more surprises waiting for us out here. Now that the Koto is in your fleet, you will need to give the it orders to, to repair. Select it and hold down the R key. And left click to each system needs repaired. Okay. Okay, R key. Let's see. Oh, it's weird. Why is it not letting me? I think we need Our systems now register green across the board. We're ready to continue the search. Rick. That distress signal you were responding to, did you happen to notice if it was Vulcan? Now that you mention it, it did have the same carrier wave amplitude the Vulcans use. That means the ship we were dispatched to locate may be the same one that sent the distress call. What was your last bearing on the signal? Before we lost contact in the nebula, it was directly behind that dead moon. I'm transmitting the coordinates to your helm. Acknowledged. That's our next stop. Objective achieved. Okay, remember to select both ships and press the 5 key. Warp speed. Oh. We've left the nebula, Captain. This is the Vulcan science vessel, Saleya, to any friendly ships in the vicinity. We are under attack by Romulan aggressors and require assistance. Vulcan ship Saleya. This is the Starfleet vessel Enterprise. 
We are here to render aid. Certainly a fortuitous bit of timing, Enterprise. We are transmitting our coordinates to you now. We can cover the distance faster if we transfer all power to the engines. Okay, uh, let's see. Hold down the E key. Diverting power, Captain. Enterprise on station. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Initiate. Ah, wrong cut key again. Aborting warp, Captain. Romulan ships approaching, Captain. Enterprise to Romulan ships. Cease your attack or we will open fire. As usual, the Romulans don't respond. Doesn't seem like they want to talk, Jonathan. Suits me fine. A little more reciprocity for their earlier greeting would be grand. Agreed. All ships, engage the Romulans and protect the Solea. Okay, remember to adjust your energy. Hold down the E. Maximize combat. Okay. Diverting power, Traitor demands your destruction. Romulan target destroyed. Diverting power, Captain. Fools! You are clearly outmatched! Romulan ships approaching, Captain. Engaging warp drive. I didn't mean to do that. Controls are backwards, so it's a little tricky.
let's get in range. about repairing however repairs should be used okay great deal of energy come on why is it taking so long to get to enterprise on station Saleya, what's your status? We are well for the moment, Captain. We extend our gratitude for your timely rescue. No need. We were sent to find you. Just glad to see you're all right. Sent? By whom? The Vulcan government asked us to locate you and bring you back. Ah, intriguing. How so? I would say their request for my retrieval is what you would call a euphemism. Is there something you want to tell me? I'm sorry, what is your name? I am Terrell, Commander Terrell. Commander Terrell, what exactly am I doing out here? Can you shed any light on why I was sent for you? The Vulcan High Command does not approve of my research, nor do they wish me to succeed where so many others have failed. I see. And what exactly is your research? My work extends to the beginnings of our Vulcan path toward logic. I am a seeker of past truth. An archaeologist? Of sorts. Captain, I believe it would be enlightening if you would make your way to my research outpost. I'm under orders to bring you safely back to Vulcan. Can you give me a good reason why we should head to this outpost? I fear my research team may be discovered by the same Romulans who followed and attacked my ship. The loss of any further life would be most regrettable. All right. We'll follow you back to your outpost. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. But we must be swift, Commander Terrell. There's no telling how many other Romulan ships may be in the area. We couldn't agree more, Captain. This will take but a short time, I assure you. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave the leave off at that as the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. hope you enjoy Remember to smash that like button, comment down below so I know if you're interested in seeing the next next objective completed in the campaign. Thank you so much, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.